What is up, Bull Nation, and welcome to today's video, guys. Today, I'm going to teach you guys how to get the Mojin Sacred Spear. By far, one of the best weapons in the game right now. You need to get this weapon, like, right now, especially after the patch. I put a crazy build on with this together. You guys are definitely going to want to check it out. I'll leave the link down below in the description. Also, checking out that video in case you want to search what it looks like. Amazing, guys. You have to get this weapon. How do you actually get this weapon? Well, first and foremost, you're going to want to go to this location right here which is called the Inner Constructed Snowfield. And from the Inner Constructed Snowfield, you want to head to where I placed this marker right here. We're actually going to head over there right now so you guys can know exactly where it's at. Let me go ahead and make sure I have the right marker here because I don't want to go to the wrong spot. No, Okay, yes, yeah, so this is number three. All right, so we're going to go to number three. Here we go. Go ahead and call in our guy. And we're going to go this way. Now, one thing I want to let you guys know, if this is the first time you're stopping over here, you are going to be running into some, like, invaders that are going to give you cool armor sets as well. So you could easily kill them. Like, right now, we're about to uh, come through this part. I don't know if it's going to come out of the ground or not, but if it does, we're just going to go ahead and, and annihilate him if he does come out. If not, you can just continue going straight. Just wanted to give you guys the warning about the invaders, because the first time I came here, I was like, oh, crap. Like, I, was, I didn't come ready. I'm just trying to get this. You know, I'm just trying to get over there, but... So letting you guys know. Now, for those of you who already have the area activated, you might want to skip this video because you've probably already done this and you already have the uh, underground already available. But if not, I just wanted to show everybody that's, uh, you know, that's uh, trying to get this to be able to get it as well. So let's, you don't have to pick this up. Okay, we might as well pick that up. All right, so now once we already collected that, you just want to keep going this way, guys. We'll go through here. And this is a little bit tricky because you think there's a dead end, but no, there's not. You just make a quick left. You're going through here. And you're going to notice that there's these ads right here. And all we got to do is get off of this guy. And look at this guy. He thinks he's the dope. But check this out, guys. Let's get our health back real quick. You know what you're going to do, boy? Come on now. Get off of me, son. Get off of me. All right, here we go. Now we're going to go to the travel to another location. You're going to hit yes. And this is going to take you guys to the underworld in case you don't have this location unlocked. Now, have you already had it unlocked? Welcome back, guys, to the video because we're back to the location. So once you're here, guys, you're going to want to call in your toy. Come on down here and work your way out of this cave. Once we work our way out of this cave, we've been to the plaza. Now we're just going to keep going down to this location because we want to get to that grace point. So we're going to follow what I'm doing here. And we're going to go down here and down here and down here. And make sure you guys hit the grace point. So once you guys hit that grace point, you guys should be good to go. Now for those of you guys who have this already unlocked, that's going to be this grace point right here. Now... All right, so once you hit that side of grace, guys, you're just going to keep rolling down this hill. Now, you want to go as quickly as you can here, guys, because these guys are a bit of annoying. And if they hit you, they're going to damage Torrent. So you want to avoid them as much as you possibly can. Just keep going this down this pathway. They're going to try to charge at you. Just keep going, guys. Just keep going. Pretend nothing's happening, because if you don't keep going, they're going to come at you, and you're going to be like, ouch, that hurt. And you want to save as much as health as you possibly can when going through here. So we'll go this way. Cut through here. Ba, 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 ba. We just keep going here. Boop, 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 boop. Now there's gonna be this guy with that horn. Just ignore him. He's gonna race this ugly looking skull guy. Just ignore him as well. Just keep going. Stay to the path that I'm going with you guys and just avoid him hitting you. So that's what point is so important on this one. Now you're gonna go up to this platform. There's gonna be a grace to uh, pick up as well here that we're gonna be able to pick up really quick. And then we're just gonna keep going up these stairs. Now here, guys, you can actually pick up the grace. And after you pick up the grace, you're going to go up this pathway. There's going to be ads here. And these ads actually explode and are a bit annoying. You can either kill them or just keep going like I'm doing right now here. Just ignore them as much as you can. This is like the Walking Dead. I'm actually going to come and pick this up real quick. Just ignore these guys as much as you can. They're really not that offensive. Just keep going, keep going, keep going. Don't worry about them. Just keep going, keep going. If you, if you guys stop, you guys are dead. Uh, it's going to cost a lot of blood damage for you guys. So just keep going and going and going. And going and going. And going and going and going and going and going. And you guys are going to get to this area. Now this is where things can become a little bit tricky because there is going to be an ad here. Alright, so once you guys get in here, just put on your torch and just run and beeline it. Alright guys, this is what you want to do. Just do what I do and don't die. Alright, so what we're going to do is just keep going. Now, you could summon your Mimic to distract if they start following you. But if they don't start following you guys, you guys are just good to go here, okay? So, go through here. We're going to keep going. This way. Go up this flight. 
and then there should be another one of those guys that spawns so we want to make sure we avoid him as well but apart from that we're good so once we get all the way through here we shouldn't have no problem and get to this area right here let's make sure we get our health back not our health but our um, stamina and then we're going to want to hit this side of grace and then it's just a matter oh go you oh, crap that guy scared the crap out of me all right so he disappeared all right so sit on this side of grace and then just reset the game and then you guys are good to go all right so once you reset that now it's just a matter of going up this flight of stairs now theoretically guys you don't have to kill these ads you could easily go to the right and just take the lift I kill these guys because there is a ancient Sumber Stone here that's going to help you level up your weapons and you definitely want to pick it up because, you know, you want your weapons to be level plus 25 or plus 10. Now, if you have, and, and you're wondering, Laser, how are you killing these guys so fast? That is my Dexterity build, which should be live tomorrow. If you're watching this video, it's going to be the following day after that. And it's going to be focusing primarily on the Rivers of Blood. So it's a really, really good build, uh, but uh, that won't be live until tomorrow. So you're definitely going to want to check that out. Uh, but yeah, so just open up the chest. And once again, you get the Somber Asian Dragon Smithing Stone. Now, once you have collected that, you just turn around and you're going to go up the lift. The lift is actually pretty cool because it's going to take you into this like big volcano. And that is where the big evil guy is going to be located. And he is pretty powerful. Now... I would recommend to do come with here, like if you're gonna be doing this, I mean, if you were to really low level, bring a friend that's high leveled. Uh, you know, we are thinking of streaming and helping people and carry people. So if you guys think that would be a good option, join our Discord server so you guys could tell us exactly, uh, give us a couple of feedback or let us know in the comment section down below. Now, as we approach the boss, he's gonna spawn in. Uh, best thing here, guys, is to make sure you summon any, uh, any ghost or mimic that will be able to take the aggro away from him. Uh, unfortunately, the Mimic got nerfed a little bit, but it's still pretty decent enough to uh, kind of cause a little bit of damage on him uh, to distract him as much as possible. You just pretty much want something to distract him. He does throw the stupid, like, blood splatter at you, which you're going to be able to get that uh, ability uh, from killing him. And then uh, once you kill him as a reward, and you also get the amazing sword, because as you see, he's wielding the weapon that we actually want to do. So the majority of the thing here, I just wanted my Mimic to aggro him. And with that aggro, I was able to use my shield, which does blood damage, which is pretty, pretty powerful and pretty OP. Uh, I do have a build on the channel for this one as well. So you're definitely going to want to check that one out. And I also have a build for the weapon we're about to pick up. So if you guys want to know exactly how to put everything together with that build, definitely do check it out. But yeah, the shield build is actually pretty OP, guys, as you see right there. And uh, we got him half health, which is really, really good, even more than half health. But eventually, guys, uh, I don't want you guys to see the whole fight because, you know, I don't want to spoil it for you guys. So you guys definitely want to have some fun when killing this boss because he is actually a pretty dope boss. Uh, what you want to do now, guys, is uh, after you kill him, you're going to go ahead and get the rewards that you need to be gotten, which is going to be, of course, the weapon we want. Not the weapon in general, but we're going to be getting the, uh, the item that's going to allow us to go and purchase it. And we're also going to be getting the, uh, the rune which is going to be a great ruin to obtain. Now, once you guys have all this, now it's time for us to go purchase the reward. So in order to purchase the reward, we got to go to the table of the grace. Once we're there, guys, we're going to go talk to the vendor that's behind the grace point that you spawn into. Talk to her, turn in the uh, the remembrance of the character you killed, which is the Bloodlord, and pick up the sword, and you guys should be good to go. Now, if you want to collect multiple items and multiple rewards, check out my double reward video so you guys know exactly how to get to. So you guys can know exactly how to pick both of his rewards right off the go. Thank you guys for watching this video and I will catch you guys on the next video.